forest, far away from everywhere. With a bunch of mighty little critters, they're called the pawpaw bears. These are brave and fearless pawpaws, as everyone well knows. When you get in trouble, and this goes double, you call the pawpaw bear. Pawpaw bears, pawpaw bears. Pawpaws pop up all around like magic. They're there. The troubles that you thought you had have vanished in the air. So don't forget those pawpaws. They'll come from everywhere. If you get in trouble and this goes double, you call the pawpaw bear. Pawpaw bears. Pawpaw bears. Okay, Dark Paw, what's up? Well, Your Highness, you'll love it. <laughs> I have a happy message for Wise Paw. Yes, so respected Wise Paw, I was a Paw Paw once, and this is the right time for me and my stooges, I mean, yes, <laughs> my friends, for me and my friends, to be loyal Paw Paws and good guys for once more. I'm offering friendship and peace. That's my gift for your 100th birthday tomorrow. Come on, Dark Paw. You expect us to believe you're serious? I say the dog's right. Oh, yeah? Well, listen to this. We're entering a float of peace in the Great Harvest Parade. There. Would I go to all that trouble if I weren't serious? Knowing you? Yes. Well, no, no, no. Not, not that I know you that well. <laughs> Well, I do, and as far as I'm concerned... Now, now, my children, peace for my 100th birthday is my dearest wish. So, Doc Paw, in good faith, we accept. Hooray! 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 Welcome to Doc Paw! Yay! Hooray! Help? You got it! What's the problem? Queen trapped! Where? Imagine me getting stuck in such a vulgar predicament. I could kick my royal self. <laughs> if I could get a leg free of this ghastly girl. Uh, oh, I suppose you plan to dine on me. Well, I don't advise it, young man. I, I really don't. As Queen Bee, I am one of the wealthiest women in the forest. Far too rich for your digestion. <laughs> 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 All your back, stay clear. We can't risk all of you getting caught up in that web. <laughs> Are you all right, Your Majesty? Splendid, thank you, dear. But he isn't, and never will be. No sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Reach up, Your Majesty. Get hold of the crossbow. Come on, Your Majesty. You can do it. Dear, I'm not used to doing these things for myself, you know. Come on, Your Highness. You have to grab the trapeze. We can't come any closer and take the chance of our horses being trapped. Oh, dear, I am trying. You'll make it. Oh, my. I believe I've got it. Hooray! I'm flying cloud. Let's go. was a sticky situation, my goodness. Thank you, thank you, my dears. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Have you ever seen anything as magnificent as my dove of peace float? No, but... What's with the butts, butthead? If you had a mind, I'd ask what's on it. I just can't believe you want peace for real with the pawpaws. Know what I mean? No. Yeah! I hardly ever know what you mean, muddle mouth. He means, oh, zingiest of zappers, we think you got something else cooking. I do. And it's a classic. Trust Papooch, 
He hears something unusual coming this way. Dark Paws float, maybe? No, it's our friends, the bees. Welcome to our village, Your Majesty. Oh, Mr. Wisepot, no need to kneel, dear man. I hear tomorrow's your hundredth birthday. It's amazing. Congratulations. Well, to show my gratitude for my rescue, here are three vats of our finest honey, fresh from the hive. Ah. Yes, fresh from the hive, and that's no jive. <laughs> just, just a little joke. Yeah. The speech? Well, oh yes, if I must. <clears throat> Honey is the symbol of life and sweetness to all bears. I bestow this gift on you. Oh, oh. you don't want to hear any more of this boring rubbish, do you? As your majesty wishes, I would like to say thank you on behalf of all pawpaws and my so happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and now this. I've never been so happy. This will be your best birthday ever. I hope you're right. I still don't trust that dark paw. <laughs> What did I tell you? Dark Paw hasn't shown up yet and he won't. Ha <laughs> ha! Peace and friendship, my paw. There isn't such a float. The whole thing's some kind of trick. He'll never show up. Yay, Dark Paw! What a great float! All right! <laughs> On the other hand, you could be wrong. Now, O oh giver of mysterious orders, now can you tell us what this is all about? With extreme hand-rubbing pleasure. Tonight, when everyone's asleep, you muttonheads will sneak out of here and we steal the pawpaw's entire honey jar supply. <laughs> Those sneakiest of sneakers. Now when everyone gets sleep, we're gonna sneak out of here and swipe their honey. Exactly. Now be quiet. Shh. Shh. Quiet, particle breath. Shh. All right, now you two pick up the honey jars and walk this way. If we walk that way, you'd be carrying these jars. What was that? Hey, did you hear that? Come on, everybody. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Now you dizzy dingbats did it. Forget the honey. Let's get out of here fast. <laughs> Giddy up, you knock me nag. Oh, master, remember us. Wait. Go. Go, you blue factory bob duck. Go. Wait. Wait, Doc. For no one. The next time, the next time I do anything with you two boneheads, you bungling, dumb, idiotic, stupid head, crazy. I told you, you can't trust Dark Paw or those Minos. So it was a trick after all. Trembly Paw was right. Well, <laughs> they hid in that phony duff till nighttime and tried to steal all of our honey. I'm for teaching them a lesson. Me too. You can't let these Minos get away with a thing. Right, let's go. Right, and while you're going, I'll be here guarding the women and children. Look, there's the dove float. No sign of the Minos. Hey, the honey. What about the honey? How are we gonna... Later, these woods are full of pawpaws. Let's get out of here. What the... Hey, dog boy, where are you? Come on now, no tricks, oh miserable master. No tricks is right, I'm, I'm invisible, you dimwits. Wait a minute, look at this tree. You know what that is? Oh, if I was saw a tree, that's a tree. Sure looks like one, a real tree tree. Of course, you lizard lumps, it is a tree. But it's the invisibility tree. Anyone who bumps into it gets invisible, like you? I don't know if I like that. Me neither. Oh, I am thanks to you. Are you sure you know what I'm doing? Yeah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> you 
see, my fine feathered flunkies? Now you're also invisible. The branch has the powers of that tree. Oh my gosh, we are, we are. We can't see you and you can't see us. I never could see you two jokers anyway. I can't even see me. Shh, the pawpaws are getting closer. Where should we hide? Where? Yeah, we can't stand here. They'll see us. No way. We can't even see us, right? Because we're... Ooh, don't say it. Yeah, don't. Because we're invisible. Right, invisible. Keep quiet. Shh, they're coming. That's strange. They have to be around here. We must have missed them. Unless they double back to the village. Let's not take any chances. <laughs> Come on. We fooled. We did. We did. We did. Yeah, yeah, ditto. Yow! Crawl back. It only lasts for a while. That's great. Give me that branch. That's got the tree's power. It made you both invisible. It's stuffed to the bark with total magic. No, it's mine. All mine. Give that to me. I found it. You just lost it. See what you've done, you thunderhead? Now it may not even work. Maybe that's good. We'll just see how good it is. Hey, where's the rest of me? What do you want? Half of me knows better than none. <laughs> Let me try. Thanks a lot. You're half right, you half wit. Yeah, I guess each bit is only working at half strength. It's all your fault for breaking the branch. I didn't mean to. Now look what you've done. Oh my gosh, where'd I go? What are you mouthing about? I'm not half the bear I used to be. Don't hit me. If there's gonna be half of me, I'd rather have the half that eats. All you think about is yourself. What about me? This'll teach you donkeys a lesson. Oh, oh, yeah! You think Dark Paw will be back for the honey? I doubt it. Last we saw, he was running away. And his mind was on saving his own skin. Right. And knowing Dark Paw, we better guard the honey day and night. Are you ready to teach those pip squeak paw paws a lesson and take their precious honey in broad daylight? In broad daylight? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. You are invisible. I'll just mount my fairly trusty steed. Chatterfoot! Weather! What? What? What the? We're we up and ready, boss! Let's go! Move it! <sighs> Gotta have room for me in the branch! I'd like to see Dark Paw steal anything with me around. What about me? Well, what would he want to steal you for? <gasps> What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. What about him? He, uh, uh well, he's got this reputation for, uh, uh seeing things which, like, uh, things that haven't happened. Too much imagination, huh? Yeah, way too much. Well, I'm glad I don't suffer from that. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Uh, is that it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep on patrolling and guarding. <gasps> What's up? Uh, this uh, friend of yours, uh, when he talks about things happening, what happens? Everyone laughs at him. Oh. Is that it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, let's patrol. Something wrong? Wrong? No! What could be wrong? Nothing's wrong. You know, if I didn't know better... Yeah, yeah, go, go on. If I didn't know better, I'd say we were being robbed. Funny thieves who aren't there. Using a horse who's not there either. Who can't haul the load. And if all that impossibility was actually happening... Which it isn't, because it can't be. We'd have to yell for... Help! <laughs> Oh, come, come back! 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 Come 
never heard of honey pots walking. What never gave you that idea? No, they loaded themselves onto a cart. <laughs> kind of clumsy they were. But they made it. And I suppose the cart raced away without a horse to pull it? Naturally. Of course. All right. You're telling me you just watched? You didn't lift a paw to stop them? Sure I did, but I tripped. Over what, Mighty Paul? Nothing. Uh, me too. I was going to wrestle those honey pots back into line when a bucket of water flew up and emptied all over me. All by itself. And naturally. We're not saying you're lying, but you may have been on guard too long or out in the sun too much. And imagine you saw... What we saw, what ghosts at work. And if you don't believe that's how it happened... What about that trail of honey? Okay, we'll follow that trail, wherever it leads, and to whatever danger it takes you. Way to go! Your way! We're going to! We insist! Right, Trembly Boy? We? Of course! How could we leave you behind? Easy! You could just gallop away on your own and wave bye-bye. We were there when it was stolen, and we'll be there when it's found. Does he have to be so brave with my body? We've got to get that honey back into the parade. My spa's heart will break if anything goes wrong with the celebration. The trail definitely goes through there. And so do you, huh? Right. Straight to where the ghosts are, I guess. While I stay here and guard the princess. Oh, I'm going too. Oh, then I'll look after the horses. Trembling, you? Y you want to stay here? Alone? Open to ghostly attack? Outnumbered? And they call me brave. I don't deserve it. Well, if you put it like that, and you need me to keep your morale up, all right, let's go. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Advance! <laughs> What's that? I didn't hear anything. Just in case. <laughs> so that's it. They have the secret of invisibility. They found the magic tree. Ultimate weapon. This could be the end of our work in the forest. There isn't a friend who can help either. You can't fight what you can't see. Yeah, it's terrible. What's the use of being courageous, fearless, resourceful, and everything else like that there against an invisible enemy? One moment. There is a friend, a good friend, who can help us to see this, this invisible enemy. <laughs> Yes. What a fantastic notion of course I'll help. Call out my Royal Air Force. <laughs> hey, what's happening? That sounds like Slippery Paw. What did we ever do to you? <gasps> Bumble Paw! Get out of here! Get off of me! <gasps> magic I'll ever see. Okay, you smarty paws, but your stupid parade's still ruined. That old wise paw won't get to start honey day after all. We've hidden the honey. All right, fellas, Operation Beat Sting. Oh, as I was saying, it's hidden over there, behind the rocks in the cave. Now call them off, please, come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> years of wisdom and gentleness, of helpfulness to all. Wise Paw, happy, happy birthday. Yay! Yes, we celebrate your birthday, a plentiful harvest, and the first Paw Paw Honey Day, a new tradition. Thank you. Thank you all. What more can I say than that? Except, let the parade begin. Yay! Yay! How nice of Dark Paw and the Meadows to join our celebration parade. Yeah, that's some gift package the bees have given us. 